right, good morning. A bit of stuffing around, just you got a cup of coffee this morning. It rained last night, so um, I had trouble getting a fire going and all that crap. Anyway, I'm about to go fishing. I'm just going to head straight down here. The wind swung around. Still a bit of swell coming in, but I think there's a ledge down there I can fish. So we'll go check it out in a moment. And um, we'll see you down there. Yeah, wow. So I want to get over there. Hopefully we can scramble across far out. It's a pretty intense place. I love it. It's what I love. Oh man. All right, I'm going to have to abseil and jump over. Which means I gotta go back up and get the other bloody rope. Cause I need to have I need to have one rope to get across here and once I'm across I want a rope to be fishing with because I'm on my own and I do not want to go in. <coughs> no way to get over there. Without a rope. Nah. Straight down here is the only way. We'll just do that. I'll go back, get the rope. Alright, I'm back and I got a rope. So, let's make this happen. Finally, a bit of a very slow start to the morning, back and forth and all that sort of crap. What's going on here? Oh we got I've grabbed the tag end of that. So now I need to continue it back through. There we go. Oh it doesn't look oh yeah it does look right. There we go. <laughs> oh for a second there I thought I'd stuffed it. Alright, so big old loop. Sling this boulder. Might just uh, turn it up a bit. There we go. Now I'll check that it's seated nicely. Probably don't want to under that. Let's get it just there. Yeah, that's good. Cool. All right. Get a harness on and get down there. Alright, quick little upsell down here. And we gotta jump a little gap. It's only a little upsell, but then have to jump a gap. So we'll come back and get to you in a sec. Alright, time for my little descent. Again with this stuff. Um, I might just put this in my mouth. Let's not drop it. Ooh, that was a little bit scary when it wanted to bounce back. How's that? Oh, I love this. Now we're, now we're talking. Now we're getting exciting. So good. Oh, chuck this up there. 
So we're gonna go fish over there somewhere, is the plan. Still pretty high up here. Yeah, I'll set up a rope, we'll leave the gear up here and I'll try fish down here somewhere. It's all a bit wet, so be a bit careful, but I'll have a rope on. That, got that. Let's go get some fish. Just leave that there for a sec. Actually, this could be a good spot to put my gear later. It's already coming out. Barneys will poke holes in it. That'll do. I think I'm going to stand down there. So we'll go up. Oh, I might just pull my cliff gap down. Yeah, look at this. This is an awesome ledge. It's just a bit, um, a little bit rough at the moment. So I might get a bit wet. Alright, we'll go get my rod. Far out, that is slick. Alright, I think I might just place a thing over here. It's fairly dry up here at least. Put a bit of a directional in there. And um, let's get a line in the water. Wow, that is slippery. Tell you what, this is one crazy spot to be fishing right now. No idea how deep it's going to be out there. Didn't seem to be that deep. Oh, well, doesn't matter. It could still be really good. Yeah, nothing first cast. What's um, what's it like around here? Is it possible to get up and down or not? Yes and no. I might come down there later. That looks better. One last cast. We're just going to do a steady retrieve up higher. And um, then I'm going to go and get another rod get the tripod and that and we're going to come down the other way because that way I absolutely in was crap
I'm just going to leave my rod like that because I really don't want to lose it. Looks like that will go there. Need to adjust this knot now. There we go. All right. I'm just going to grab this stuff and we'll head down over the other side. All right, so I got a bit of fishing line in my mouth, but I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. I am rigging up. The light out, uh, yeah, the light outfit. I'm going to chuck on Notions Legacy jig, and uh, yeah, that's the plan. I'll take down a jig head as well in case I get snagged and lose it and crap like that. Get this off me quickly and leave it just there. These birds are working their way in a bit, might be casting out their way soon. Yeah, I reckon it's time to fire a cast their way. See what happens. See what those birds are sitting on. Hopefully I don't just lose this jig, but we'll give it a shot. Didn't quite get it in the zone. Oh, I got fish chasing it though. What are they? Is that tuna or salmon? What have we got? I'm a little bit nervous that they're salmon. I don't want salmon. Oh, they're kingies. Rat kings just followed it in. All right, we might try to get one. Yeah, they're on it. Yep, they're on it, all right. Hopefully it's not, hopefully it is a rat. Boys, I'm in trouble. Oh, he's come straight for the rocks. Of course he does. Here we go. There we go. We'll send him back anyway. Little fella. Alright, sweet. We'll send him back. Probably, oh, barely hooked. There we go. Perfect. Don't carry on, fish. Oh, I've got crap everywhere now, so. Alright. There's a seal right there. Swim free mate, quick. Get out of there before that seal gets you. All right, back over that way I reckon. We'll give that a shot. Fire a cast out. Yeah. Fish. Fish on the bottom too. Hope it's a good one, not a kingy. Let's pull him down. Oh, 
Oh, it's another king. Slightly fatter one. Oh, I thought it was a better fish. Oh, not better. I thought it was a demersal because it hit it on the bottom. All right, we'll get these out. I'll just move that there. Send you home, mate. Not sure what sort of entry you call that, but it was quite spectacular. Oh well, we'll keep going. Rat kings for days out here. Some big ones yesterday though. I'm on. Oh, I hope it's not another kingfish. It's decent. Please be a demersal. That's what I'm after. No, kingy, I think. Another king. Man, there's kings for days here. Oh well. They're powerful little suckers, eh? And look at all the ones chasing it. Alright, so I'm going to change this out now. It's had a good run. And uh, while there's some kingfish around, we'll see if we can get one on this. It's um, new Helco Sly Dog. Um, it's just a smaller size. I believe Sly Dog 105, it says on the side of it. To be released any day now. I think, I forget what the date is right now. Dude, that's a bit of a set. I'll just watch that. Yep, I'm on. I thought I had a hit. He's a bit of a baby. Oh, I say that. These things always surprise you. Chill. Ay, 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 ay. He's shaking the trebles. He's out of there. He just went boom, and the seal's there as well. I'm going to get some crabs now because I'm just catching kingfish on the bottom and on the top. Well, not really on the top. They're sitting down a bit. Um, and I don't want to just catch kingfish. So a bit of crab and we'll see if we can get a groper. And now I've probably got to pack up and get out of here because it's going to take a little while. Right, we're about ready to um, try to catch a groper. So half a crab. I uh, only had an assist hook that I'd made up laying around so we're going to throw that on I'll go through a leg or two oh, I would have liked to go through the body but the hook's not quite big enough don't need a big cast for groper 
because half the time they are right at your feet. Definitely getting bites. Come on, eat it. Eat it. She was looking at it. Cheeky little bugger. Alright. Yep. That's a great fight. That's a big one. Oh. Felt like a big one anyways, running that way. Oh, it's my line gun touch the... I must have him almost up. There we go. Oh, he's not as big as I thought, but he's decent. Seals having a look. Might be able to drag him up if that hook is set well. Done! Just like that. Oh. oh, it's a good looking fish. Ah. Oh, spiked me. That's my blood. Got me. Anyway. Tell you what, Groper and Kingfish are probably the two hardest fish out there to hold. So, um, there we go. We're keeping this one. I got no fish at home and my sister wants some fish. I think a few people want some fish, so we'll go to good use. Um, yeah, happy days. All right, I'm gonna pack up now, fill in the fish and get out of here. I've still got to pack down camp and get it ready to get picked up. Um, and it's nearly lunchtime now. I'm getting picked up just after three. And that, um, where that groper spikes me, kind of hard there. I'm hoping I don't have anything in there. We'll soon find out, I guess, if it starts flaring up real bad, then I uh, might need to get it looked at. So we're back here, ready to climb out. I threw the net up there. Just make sure that's backward up. And we're on this. I don't have any ascenders with me today, so we'll just use this. And um, might just tie a stop and knock. So I don't go down the chasm of doom if anything goes wrong. Here we go. It's a nice view. And step across. And grab onto something. Oh, 
We're gonna climb out. Yeah, where's the handholds going? There we go. It's a bit tricky when you got like 25 kilos or maybe even more on your back and rods poking out. Anyway. There we go. Easy as that. All right, might wrap it up there. So um, I just got to bundle this rope up, head up to camp, pack everything down and head down there and uh, wait for the boat to pick me up so yeah thanks heaps for watching everyone uh, it's good to get back on the south coast you know I love it down here it's beautiful very wild and rugged but beautiful um, yeah thanks to everyone that watches the videos feel free to share it around show your mates or whatever the channel's really taken off in the last couple of months it's um gone from like 15,000 subscribers to 65-ish right now I think 65,000 which is amazing so bring on 100k hey um, yeah thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you on the next adventure